Is this Miranda? Hey. This is the woman who called you some times ago and hooked you up with this guy named Benedict. Do you remember me? Well, I'm calling you because I actually got news for you. No, it's not bad news. It's good news. I wanted to let you know that Benedict, he's actually my husband. And we've been married for the past 17 years. That is possible. What do you mean that can't be possible? I sound what? I sound like I'm illiterate. Oh, no, you didn't, girlfriend, because I'm just as educated as you, okay? I'm not a high school dropout. I have my college degree, and if you mess with me, I will show you that you're messing with the wrong boss chick because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to publish a book on your behind, and I'm going to make sure that book ends up on every bookshelf in New York City telling the rest of the world how you came and snatched my man from me and caused him to put me and his children on the street i will show your customers the kind of business woman you are i'm not even gonna stop there because one of my ex actually works for fox news i'm gonna make sure i get on fox news on national television and and, and give my emotional my emotional story giving your full name the name of your company where you at where you live i got all that information from benedict already i'm gonna have you so messed up you are ain't never gonna just listen to somebody just because they got an accent you tell them they sound illiterate so you better get it right like i was saying Miranda is my husband miranda and the only reason why i hook you up with Benedict is because something is in it for me see Benedict, he's he we, we are not that you know successful you may as well say we living on uh, on poverty below poverty line or something so all i want you to do miranda before i leave you alone with benedict because obviously you can find men for yourself that's why i look at you you're beautiful you're hard working and you're the kind of woman my husband needs okay i don't need my husband i don't need him i don't need him I use him. I pimp him so I can get what I want. So if you need love, I know he. I know how he will cherish you. I know he's capable of cherishing you. That's why I hook you up with him. And you can't deny that. I know. I know you already into him. I know you already, already so hooked. So don't even say deny it. Don't even say deny it. And I'm not begging you. Don't worry about my accent. Listen, listen carefully. You will understand what I'm saying. But anyways, let's get to the point why I call you Miranda. I want you to, you know, purchase one of these beautiful houses out here uh, uh, that, that, that got eight bedrooms for, for my family. You, my family as in me, Benedict, and our three children. But don't, don't get all scared. I still don't want Benedict. No, 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 no. I cannot divorce him. My tradition, my culture, we don't, we don't fight for divorce. We just, we just let other women have the men. That, that's, that's how we roll. Okay? So you just buy the house and then it will be in our name. But Benedict is still yours. No, no, no. I, but that's again, I, I marry him first. So we cannot, we cannot, we can't, we, we cannot honor your, your American culture. I marry him first. If, if I was behind your husband, then you can tell me we, we have to honor your culture first. But I marry him first. So we have to honor my culture first. I cannot file for divorce. I won't trust me. I won't say nothing. Just buy the eight bedroom house. Shoot. Just buy the eight bedroom house. I will just fall back on the back burner and I will let you have Benedict. I already been letting you to have Benedict. That's all I need you to do is buy a eight bedroom house. I already found the house. It got a nice basement, very rich neighborhood. I just need you to buy the house. That's all. This shouldn't be a big deal for you. I, I know your asset. I know your status. So just do it, Miranda. You will be free to come to that home anytime. You will be free to come to... Oh, another thing. I want you to have a housewarming party. I will be the host. 
I will be the host. Have a house, mommy, party, but because, because let me tell you right now, I cannot furnish that house. That house is so I cannot furnish that house. Even a Benedict man, he cannot furnish that house. So have a house, mommy, party. I will be the host. I'll cook all the best meals ever. Bring all your rich friends so they can help furnish that house. That's all I need you to do, Miranda. I know it's crazy. You haven't gotten yourself into nothing, Miranda. Don't sound all you know. No, no, don't sound all frustrated. I'm actually, I'm actually the nicest woman you will ever meet. Trust me, we're gonna be so cool and so close. We're gonna be best of friends. You haven't gotten yourself into anything, Miranda. Buy the house. Bottom line, do the party. My house get furnished. I, you won't hear anything from me. You will get no problem or complications from my end. Trust me. Okay, you haven't gotten yourself into anything that you will regret. Just buy the house. That's all I'm asking. Just buy and furnish the house. That's all. That Benedict, I don't need Benedict. It's yours. Think about it. Go ahead and think about it. But as you think about it, just know that you you, you have to do it. Okay. <laughs>